I will be discussing oxygen therapy in COVID-19 patients with mild to moderate pneumonia. Oxygen therapy is the mainstay of treatment for moderate and severe cases of COVID-19 along with supportive therapy, which includes antiviral drugs, anticoagulants, antipyretics, and steroids. HCQ and antibiotics are also considered in some cases. Disease progresses from mild to moderate pneumonia in 5 to 7 days and if worsens, can further progress to severe pneumonia to ARDS and septic shock in 10 to 12 days. In mild pneumonia cases, adults can present with shallow and difficult breathing. A kidney is there with respiratory rate around 20 per minute. In infants, there may be grunting and inability to breastfeed. These patients may or may not need oxygen therapy. In moderate pneumonia cases, patients present with fever, chills, cough, difficulty in breathing, shortness of breath, chest pain and fatigue. SpO2 is often less than 94% on room air. Respiratory rate in adults is more than 24 per minute and in children more than 40 per minute. These patients often require oxygen therapy. In these cases, oxygen is usually given by low flow oxygen devices which we can use as per the patient's requirement of oxygen. We can deliver oxygen up to 45% with nasal cannula, 55% with simple face mask, 60% with venturi mask and up to 95% with non-rebreather face mask. Nasal cannula is usually not recommended in adults due to higher spread of droplets but preferred in young children due to better tolerance. 2 to 5 liters per minute is the recommended flow rate. Higher flow causes mucosal dryness and injury, hence avoided. With nasal cannula, 24 to 44% of oxygen can be delivered at flow rate of 1 to 6 liters per minute. Simple face mask has open ports on both sides of nose, which entrain air from atmosphere. 35 to 55% of oxygen can be delivered at flow rate of 5 to 10 liters per minute, depending upon the patient's respiratory effort. Final oxygen concentration is somewhat uncontrolled. 5 to 6 liters per minute is the usual recommended flow rate. In COVID-19 patients, mask is applied tightly to minimize the droplet spread. Venturi mask is a fixed performance mask where a known concentration of oxygen can be achieved as we can regulate FiO2. Mask has color-coded regulators which specify the flow of oxygen required to deliver these percentages of oxygen. 24 to 60% of oxygen can be delivered with flow rate of 2 to 15 liters per minute. No rebreather face mask has a reservoir bag which holds oxygen. Port on both sides of nose has one way valve which opens only during exhalation and prevents air entrainment during inspiration. Thus, increases inspired oxygen concentration. 60 to 95% of oxygen can be delivered with flow rate of 10 to 15 liters per minute. All oxygen flow devices can increase aerosol spread, therefore, it is advised that we should apply a 3-ply surgical mask over the oxygen delivery device. SpO2 target for patients presenting with severe respiratory distress, hypoxemia or shock is more than 94%. Once the patient is stable, SpO2 more than 90% in non-pregnant adult and 92-95% in pregnant adult is targeted. We should not target an SpO2 more than 96%. Oxygen therapy is an important component. However, role of other modalities such as incentive spirometry, prone positioning, head up position, hydration and nutrition cannot be overlooked. In addition to severe respiratory distress and tachypnea, adults with severe pneumonia present with SpO2 less than 93% on room air, while in children, SpO2 less than 90% is considered as sign of severe disease. High flow nasal cannula or non invasive ventilation are often required to treat hypoxemia associated with severe disease. These modalities will be discussed in next lecture. Thank you.